Welcome to Let's Talk, a discussion about the High School Revitalization Project, brought to you by the Hempfield Area School District. Hello, my name is Gabriella Kachi and I will be a freshman next year. As an eighth grader, I went to Harold Middle School. I'm interviewing Mr. Mike Arnold, Vice President of Site Logic Q and the Construction Manager for the re Rehabilitation of the Hemfield Area High School. Mr. Arnold, welcome and thank you for your time and being interviewed. Thank you. What is the timeline of the project? So we, uh, our firm, Site Logic, as well as CORE, um, got involved uh, in helping the district do a uh, feasibility study uh, in 2021. And basically that took the entire year. Once that was presented at the end of the year, um, both firms um, launched into what we call the program and schematic design phase. So that's kind of currently where we are. We're, we're in the process of working with the district on some of the details um, as it relates to what this building ultimately is going to look like and this, what the spaces are going to look like. And that design process will continue uh, throughout 2022 uh, and into 2023. It's, a, it's obviously a very large project. So um, it takes a while to pull all that together. Uh, and then we will get into what we call the uh, the bidding phase, where we'll we'll bid the work out and ultimately into the construction phase, and we'll start the renovations of of your of your high school as well as the additions that are going to be added on to your building. When will construction begin? So construction will begin in phases. Um, as I mentioned, we're in the design phase now. That'll take us pretty much through uh, this year. But but at some point during this year, we're going to. Um, look at uh, some early work, if you will, where we, we bid out some of the equipment uh, that is needed for, for your building. Um, and because of the supply chain issues that we're all very well aware of, um, we are recommending that we, we move in that manner while the design continues. Um, ultimately, uh, the additions on the building will begin construction uh, in around June of 2023, and then the renovations will follow uh, shortly thereafter in the fall. Uh, ultimately, uh, the project is slated to be 100% complete by the end of 2025. So it's, it's a bit more than a two-year uh, project overall. When can students anticipate attending a newly revitalized high school? Yeah, so there will be, the students will be occupying the building uh, throughout the entire course of, of construction. Uh, we, will, we will phase the project to make sure that the conditions inside the building are safe. Um, there is also consideration for the utilization of Harold Middle School uh, to house some of the students during construction. And we will also be um, really concentrating and focusing on the summer months to get a lot of the renovations done so that the students are not disturbed during the school year. Um, so that's kind of our plan. There's going to be several phases. There will be work in the existing building while, while, while the students are in, but we are going to make sure that it's, the, the work is partitioned off uh, and, that, and that the area is safe. One of the things that we will be doing um, as all of this is going on is we're going to be providing some education to the student body as it relates to the design and construction industry uh, to help to communicate uh, the career opportunities that exist within that industry. And it's a great way to tie in what's happening right in front of you uh, with a, you know, a potential uh, career path that uh, some students may want to take. How will construction occur while students are attending school? So we, we are going to be developing, um, kind of tying into what I just mentioned, we're going to be developing a phasing plan, working closely with, with the district administration on how we can partition uh, the building out so that we can continue with, with, with the work. As I mentioned, um, the Harold Middle School will most likely be used uh, to house some of the students, but um, we've, we've done a lot of this. Uh, there's a, there's a, a lot of experience and history in, in working through projects where there are renovations. Um, so we will take blocks of classrooms and kind of move our way around so that we're not disrupting the educational function. And as I mentioned before, safety is always the number one priority. Um, but likewise, we're going to, you know, we're going to really focus on those summer months as far as the renovations are concerned, the additions, because they are not as disruptive, uh, to the normal class functions will just continue throughout the year until they are done. And then the, the students will be able to, um, to move into those spaces. What are the major challenges of this pro project? Well, there's, there, there's several, um, obviously it's, it's, it's a large undertaking, 
Um, there is, as, as everyone knows, uh, in this particular uh, economy and, and world that we live in, there's, there's inflation issues and there's supply chain issues that exist. And we're, we're coming up with tra- strategies to, to manage that as, as best we can. That'll definitely be one challenge. The other challenge will be, as, as we've just indicated, coming up with a phasing plan that allows for a, a, a flow of work uh, on the project without having uh, an impact on, on, on the student body and, and, and the educational function uh, of the space. The other, the other challenge will be, it, you know, whenever you're dealing with an existing building, um, there are you know, certain aspects uh, that are um, yet to be uncovered. So when we go in and we are doing a lot of um, demolition within the building to reconfigure spaces, uh, we are actually doing a new facade uh, for the building envelope. Um, so when we begin that selective demolition, um, a lot of times there are some unforeseens that are uncovered and trying to flush those out ahead of time so that we uh, reduce the amount of surprises would be, uh, of course, an, another challenge. Um, and lastly, uh, the challenge of just having uh, a workforce available. Uh, again, um, the labor force has been compromised a bit uh, over, the, over the pandemic. So making sure that we get uh, coverage from our subcontractors, uh, including you know, steel manufacturers, drywall installers, all of that will be a challenge to make sure that we have interest in the project so that we get enough uh, boots on the ground so we can get the project done on time. So, We thank you for your time today and look forward for fu- to future updates. Thank you. <laughs>